Hello, I'm Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to use gestures in MIT App Inventor. So we are going to do this without the canvas component. So what is a gesture? So when you swipe up, down or right or left, it is a gesture. So we are going to see how to do it in MIT App Inventor. So using these gestures, we are going to create a photo gallery app in which you will just swipe with your finger and then it will move on to the next picture instead of using a button for that now if you are new to my channel i create tutorials on mit app inventors so that you can create fantastic mobile apps like we are going to do in this tutorial so start now by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can create fantastic android mobile app so for this we are going to use an extension for to use the gestures without the canvas component in mit app inventor so i have given a link in the description so you need to go to this link and when you click on enter the aia file will be automatically downloaded now in mit app inventor let's go to extension and here we are going to import the aix file which we have downloaded now you can see that the gesture extension is imported so let's bring it in to the components now first we are going to bring in a label and this is going to be the title so let's click on the screen one and we are going to put align horizontal to be center so that this label comes to the center of the screen now let's change the text of this label to be photos let's make the font to be bold and we are going to increase the font size of this to be 25 next we are going to bring in an horizontal arrangement from the layouts so in in this horizontal arrangement we are going to put the height and width to be fill parent so that it occupies the whole screen now inside this horizontal arrangement we are going to put an image in which we will show all the photos so again we are going to change the height and width of this to be fill parent now after you bring in the image now we are going to upload all the images so you can upload your photos whatever you want so i'm going to upload three sample images now you can see that all of the three images are uploaded so i have just uploaded sample images like this some photos and now when we swipe with our hand it needs to move to the next photo so for that we are not going to put any buttons now you need to make sure that here you can see 1.png 2.png and 3.png if you have any images or photos you need to rename this to be a number like 1 2 and 3 and if you have five images then it needs to be one two three four and five in the order which you want now let's go to the block section so first we are going to create a variable called photo number and we are going to set this to be one next when screen one is initializing which means the app is loading first we are going to enable the gesture so here you can see there are many blocks first block is the HA gesture which means we will create a gesture listener for horizontal arrangement the second one is for horizontal scroll arrangement which is HSA gesture component and the third one is for vertical arrangements and then the fourth block is for vertical scroll arrangements now in this app we are using the horizontal arrangement as you can see so for this horizontal arrangement we are going to use the first block which is this block so let's bring it in here and then the component is going to be horizontal arrangement one and then the id is going to be one so let's just duplicate this block and put it here now after we set up this gesture component what we are going to do is we are going to show the first image when the app is starting so set image one dot picture to here let's bring in the join block from here and in the join block we will get the photo number so if the photo number is one and then now we are going to put dot png here in the join block so we will first get the photo number so it is one and then we will put dot png so it will become one dot png and this photo will be visible so that's how we are going to make this the we are going to show the image in this image one component next when they are swiping so here you can see when gesture one dot gesture image i mean gesture event which means they are swiping we need to find which direction they are swiping so if they are there are they are swiping in the left side then it means we need to go to the next image 
if they are swiping in the right side we need to go to the previous image so that's how we are going to do here so for that we are going to use if conditions so let, let's bring in this and here let's bring in the equal to block so if the direction so we will get the direction from here if the direction is equal to left so let me bring in the left let me bring in the text block here and I'm going to put left so if the direction is equal to left then we need to move on to the next image so what we are going to do is we are going to increment this photo number which means we will add one to it so what let's bring in this block the addition operator and then we will get the photo number and we will add one to it so let me bring in the math block so that now here you can see we are incrementing it after we increment we need to update the picture in the image component so let's duplicate this block and we are going to put the same block now it will be changed from 1 to 2.png because we are adding 1 to this and then when we swipe left side then the second image will be visible so 2.png this image will be visible so it is again the same way for the third image now let's duplicate this and if the direction is equal to right which means they are swiping right side then we what we need to do is we need to move on to the previous image so for that we are going to bring in the subtraction operator like this and inside this we are going to subtract the photo number and we will subtract one from it now uh, after we do that again we are going to update it in the image one so here you can see the app now you can see that the first photo is visible now I'm going to swipe like this and it needs to move to the second photo now let me swipe and now you can see that the second photo is visible now I'm going to swipe it again and now you can see that the third photo is visible now let me swipe it this way now you can see that it goes to the previous photo and let me do it the same thing now you, you can see that it went to photo one now there are many uses for this gesture extension so this can be used to create games in which they need to swipe and there are many other apps which you can create with this gesture next do you want to create a chat app using MIT app inventor watch this video and also watch my full course of MIT app inventor here